Hello friends, today I am going to discuss how to create auto increment field in SQL Server. Friend, uh, what happens sometimes we need to create a field in database and which values should increment automatically and generally this is done in case of ID. If you are going to use any ID in any table, so sometimes we think we should create ID in such manner that if any new value inserted in that table, ID should be created automatically. So, here uh, I am going to discuss how you can do this in database or you can say for any field. Okay. So, basically auto increment allows a unique number to be generated automatically when a new record inserted into a table and no I often this is uh, implemented on the primary key field suppose generally people used to uh, make ID as a primary key and also sometime try to create uh, that field auto incremented field means whenever uh, you are going to insert new data in that table your ID should be incremented automatically. So, here I am going to tell you how you can do this. So, just uh, um, by using query I am going to tell you. So, just wait. Uh, so, I have opened query box and uh, I have already created a database that is uh, the knowledge adda. Only I am going to create a table where I want to keep ID as a auto increment field. So, let me select here the database and that database is the knowledge adda. Okay. Now, syntax is that uh, create table and suppose I have taken table name as a test okay. and I have to create a field id test or uh, test id uh, integer and I want to make it fill auto incremented. So, we have uh, a data type that is identity. Whenever you want to uh, make any field auto incremented, so you have to use identity. This is basically function and you have to pass the parameter. Suppose, I am passing this one this. So, basically what is meaning of this? Ki this test id is going to start from 1 and it will be incremented by 1 means suppose first id is 1 so second id will be 2 3 4 and so on and suppose i have change here uh, just like this 100 and 1 meaning of this will be your first id will be 100 and after that 100 1 100 2 100 3 okay this is meaning of first digit whatever id from where you want to store start just give the first letter. Suppose, if you want to start from the 5005, then you can just give 5005. Okay. Now, if you want to uh, put a gap of 2 or 3, then you have to change here. Suppose, I have uh, mentioned 2 means your first id will be 5005 and next id will be 5007. 5009, 5011 means that is going to increment that id by 2 and suppose you have mentioned 10. So, that is going to uh, incremented by 10. So, this is basically process and according to your requirement you can uh, uh, write and uh, this is suppose this is primary field. So, primary key. So, I hope you have a idea about what is basically primary key and just take one more field that is first name where care and 200 and here last name and that is where care 200. Okay. So, your now run this means you have to execute this. So, 
Now, after this, your table is created. So, here you can see the table. Uh, just expand this, this database, and in this table, you can see here debut. Now, you have to insert the value. So, insert into table name test. Okay, and values. So here you have not mentioned test ID because this is going to be insert automatically. So if you are going to insert any value in this table, so there is no need to mention test ID. Okay. So what we have to mention? You have to mention first name. So just pass first name and just pass second name. Okay, just execute this. Okay, now let me uh, insert the second value. Suppose uh, I have mentioned Pankaj. Okay, just mention Pooja. So I have inserted three value. So let check the value of table. So select. Start from test and execute this. So in this table, you can see your ID is automatically created by one, one, two, three. There is a gap of one. Why? Because we have mentioned one comma two. If you are going to mention one comma two, means that will be one, three, five, so on. So this is basically procedure how you can make any field. As a auto incremented in SQL Server. So, thank you for watching this. Thank you.